वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला एन ई कंटेंट डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू आईसीटी टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डिजिटल लाइब्रेरीज अंडर द पेपर डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आफ्टर स्टडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर to understand basic concept behind evaluation of digital library need and purpose of digital library evaluation different approach for evaluating digital library process and steps for digital library evaluation criteria for evaluation digital library and how one can start process of evaluation different stages of evaluation models of digital library evaluation etc the world is changing very fast with increased application of information and telecommunication technology with an advent of information and communication technology the concept of the library has gone under complete metamorphosis digital libraries extend and integrate approaches adopted in traditional libraries as well as in distributed information systems to concede higher information systems services and institutions continuing research and innovations in various fields of studies led to an information explosion in last couple of years the library and information centers have changed dramatically in terms of its collection organization and services information and communication technology have changed the concept of the library as never before nowadays libraries and information centers across the world are rapidly moving towards the digital formation and collection of digital library has the potential to reach out to its users without any geographical restrictions however it requires sufficient fund to build up a digital collection using known digital library management system development of digital libraries requires immense investment in terms of trained manpower latest technology and sufficient funds as such it is essential to carry out timely evaluation for the digital library evaluation is a general term that includes several aspects of performance measurement and assessment of the activities that include experiments surveys time series analysis online monitoring of user system observation of use and other forms of data collection for the ultimate purpose of evaluation evaluation has many intentions ranging from high focused and well defined product testing to the highest form of cognitive reflection the evaluation of the digital library helps in finding its integrity usability and relevancy the process allows managers to judge whether a digital library meets the objectives for which it was developed therefore evaluation of a digital library is done for decision maker to take necessary policy decisions on the development continuation and evaluation of digital library evaluation should be carried out on regular interval to meet the digital library up to date and relevant now we will try to understand need of digital library evaluation the first and foremost step in an any evaluation process is to establish a strong and clear cut rationale for evaluation in simple words one should begin any evaluation by answering the question why evaluation is necessary evaluation is carried out for many reasons often evaluation is conducted to comply with some sort of requirement laid down by a funding agency it may also be done for political reasons or simply because the people involved in the enterprise may try to find out whether vigorous exercise that is being done 
is on the right track or not various types of professionals organizations carry out evaluation process to help in taking decisions for example a doctor inquires about medical histories conducts examinations and may perform various medical tests before diagnosis and treatment likewise those who are involved in making decision about digital libraries have to perform various tests called evaluations there are certain advanced areas in digital libraries whose evaluation may require help of experts evaluation of the digital library is a fact finding process on the basis of collected evidences it also includes value measuring which are integrated in the management process of digital libraries it is an assessment of the performances services systems products etc evaluation of digital library is often treated as a simple task and many times it is overlooked but actually it is complex scientific necessary for long long term survivor and to check relevancy of the digital library because of the complexity and multi dimensionality of the digital library it becomes quite technical to evaluate it in the evaluation of digital libraries as in the evaluation of any other system or processes a difficult question arises that clearly affects the result where does a digital library under evaluation begin to be evaluated where does it end what are the boundaries what to include what to exclude etc according to sara sevik evaluation means an appraisal of the performance or functioning of a system or part thereof in relation to some objectives the performance can be evaluated as effectiveness efficiency and cost effectiveness according to choudhury and choudhury digital libraries are judged by their effectiveness in terms of cost and use marconi has pointed out that the evaluation is a research process that aims to understand the meaning of a specific phenomenon situated in this context the evaluation process for digital library needs to be carried out by the expert in the field who can evaluate using various approaches digital libraries and different digital libraries are different than traditional libraries in terms of its collection execution and support and no evaluation can possibly address all the aspects altogether three important approaches used in evaluation of digital libraries are user and content centric approach system centric approach economic approach user and content centric approach the user centric approach involves assessment of features used by end users which are integrated in digital library portal this approach is a bridge between human and system this approach is used before developing a digital library system centric approach the system centric approach involves study of software and its performances it also assesses effectiveness of the system design and technological component this approach is mostly used at the time of the system design and deployment economic approach economic approach is basically study of cost it measures cost effectiveness of the digital library this approach will help policy makers to take decision about worthiness of digital library several evaluation of digital library various steps several complex evaluation models are exposed <coughs> and now we will see the various steps of evaluation of digital library several 
complex evaluation models are proposed in scholarly papers and evaluation specialists often have high qualification specific area. However, the simple evaluation process may have following steps. Identify the activities involved in the digital library. Identify the questions that are to be addressed to inform the decision makers. Identify the evaluation methods, models and tools which will be used for data collection related to the questions. Bifurcate evaluation in a phased manner so that it can bifurcate evaluation in a phased manner so that it becomes effective and efficient and write up the finding of the evaluation inaccurately so that it can provide meaningful data to make the best possible decisions. Different form of the evaluation process for a traditional library that was established much before the invention of information and communication technology. The evaluation procedure for digital library is quite different. The evaluation process for digital library is carried out in a sequential manner starting from planning to evaluation. The evaluation process involves following steps. Surveys and questionnaires. Surveys are used to collect data from a sample on a range of issues. One can use surveys to find out what people think about a particular system or service including proposed changes and how services can be improved. A questionnaire based survey can be used in a variety of formats that is by post, online, face to face and telephone interviews. Observations A method for data collection in which the area of interest is observed and the relevant facts, actions and behaviors are recorded. Trans Transactional log analysis Transaction log is a source of user's information and user's information behavior. The transaction log system records user's interaction for a particular digital library. Pressed data in transaction logs are recorded for interaction which have been used to locate and navigate digital library. Transactional log analysis Transactional log analysis. Transaction log is a source of user's information and user's information behavior. The transaction log system records user's interactions for a particular digital library. Traced data in transaction logs are recorded of interaction which have been used to locate and navigate digital library. Experimentation. Experiments Experimentation. Experiments are studies involving intervention by a researcher beyond that required for measurement. The usual intervention is to manipulate some variable in a setting and observe how it affects a subject being studied. Records analysis. Record analysis is the process of systematically applying statistical and logical techniques to describe, illustrate, condense and recap as well as evaluate collected records. Usage analysis, counter reports. Usage analysis is a technique for understanding usage statistics. Counter stands for counting online usage of networked electronic resources. Basically, it is used to measure online usage of networked resource. The evaluation process starts with to-do list of various activities to be performed at the time of evaluation. Once the activities are planned, methodology is selected based on data to be collected and analyzed by various analytical systems. The analyzed data is used for taking policy decision and the decision makers set various criteria on the basis of results for funding the project. 
Finally, it is decided whether digital library achieves the objectives for which it was developed. In the process of evaluation of digital library, first step is planning of activities, then comes selection of evaluation method, after that collection of data, after that analysis of data. Based on analysis of data, policy decisions, then criteria for funding and ultimate achievement of objectives is being done by digital library or not. Criteria for evaluation of digital library. Evaluation is a combination between selected elements to be evaluated and selected elements of its performance. This leads to selection of stages and levels of evaluation. Digital libraries like other systems can be viewed and evaluated from a number of slants or levels. Each of these slants can be translated into a criteria for evaluation. An evaluation focuses on decision about the types of services that the digital library should alter. Some of the questions that might be answered are which types of services are offered by digital libraries, which services the patron have requested, for which services you users are willing to pay, what services would require external funding, etc. Some of the important criteria that need to be used for the evaluation of digital libraries are usability, quality of the collection, service quality, performance of the system, etc. Now we'll understand in depth usability. Usability is one of the important criteria for evaluation of digital library, especially with respect to interface, design and operability. The criteria evaluates navigation efficiency, search retrieval efficiency and informative entropy as well. Quality of the collection. One of the important constituent of a digital library is collection or content it holds. The uploaded content should be evaluated on regular interval as there are many innovations that are taking place in a given area of knowledge. The relevancy of the concept should be maintained for which a digital library is developed. Service quality. One of the major criticism for digital library is lack of a community service which is one of the important functions for traditional library. Community services refer to services that are provided to members of digital library community, such as allowing members to exchange ideas, make announcements, etc. Performance of the system. System performance is related to the relevance of retrieval of results and efficiency of the retrieval process. One of the major identified problem regarding system performance is how to increase precision ratio. In general, users care more about precision than recall since they only need enough information to solve their problems. In addition, precision affects the time a user needs to spend to find relevant information to solve his or her problems from a digital library. Now while evaluating what are the things need to be evaluated that we have to understand. According to Chaudhary and Chaudhary, a digital library may be evaluated from a number of perfect perspectives such as system, access and usability, user information, information retrieval, content, service, cost as well as overall benefits and impact. Sarasevik provided a list of elements to be evaluated at the time of evaluation of digital library when he clearly indicates what to include and what to exclude. He suggested that the following elements may be considered for evaluation. Digital libraries are evaluated to find our usage pattern system-related issues, 
relevancy of the cost and cost effectiveness etc there is no general interest for evaluation of a digital library there are certain groups of people involved in r and d activity who are doing evaluation of a digital library but there is no extra effort that are made evaluation can only be done if there is sufficient funds user and content centric approach the user centric approach involves assessment of features used by end users which are integrated in the digital library portal this approach is a bridge between the humans and the system this approach is used before developing a digital library system centric approach the system centric approach involves the study of software and its performances it also assesses the effectiveness of the system design and technological components this approach is mostly used at the time of the system design and deployment the economic approach the economic approach is basically a study of the cost it measures the cost effectiveness of the digital library this approach will help policy makers to take a decision about the worthiness of the digital library there are certain steps to be followed in the evaluation process number 1 identify the activities involved in evaluation of a digital library number 2 identify the questions that are to be addressed and the results that will be conveyed to the decision makers identify the evaluation methods models and tools which may be utilized for data collection number 4 bifurcate evaluation in a phased manner so that it becomes effective and efficient number 5 write up the findings of the evaluations accurately so that it can provide meaningful data to make the best possible decisions surveys including direct questionnaires and online surveys as well as structured interviews of users and developers observations transactional log analysis experimentation records analysis analysis of usage statistics economic analysis the evaluation process starts with a to do list of various activities to be performed at the time of evaluation once the activities are planned methodology is selected based on data to be collected and analyzed by various analytical systems the analyzed data is used for taking a policy decision and the decision makers set various criteria on the basis of results for funding the project finally it is decided whether the digital library achieves the objectives for which it was developed first digital collection and digital resources second organizational structure and storage third metadata and access management fourth physical network and distribution fifth security privacy and legal aspects sixth licenses and cost seventh user interface and retrieval etc usability is one of the important criterion for evaluation of a digital library especially with respect to interface design and operability this criterion evaluates navigation efficiency search retrieval efficiency and informative entropy as well one of the important constituents of a digital library is the collection or the content the uploaded content should be evaluated at regular intervals as there are many innovations taking place in the same area of knowledge the relevancy of the content should be maintained for which a digital library is developed one major criticism for the existing digital libraries is a lack of a community service which is one of the most important functions for a traditional library system community services refer to services that are provided to members of a digital library community such as 
allowing members to exchange ideas to make announcements among other things system performance is related to the relevance of retrieval of results and efficiency of the retrieval process the main problem identified regarding system performance is how to increase the precision ratio in general users care more about precision than recall since they only need enough information to solve their problems in addition precision affects the time a user needs to spend to evaluate and find relevant information to solve his or her problems in the digital library in general the system for digital library is designed after consultation with users the need to evaluate latest technology that is used for its development is one of the criterion for evaluation the system needs to be designed on the basis of users requirements at the time of designing systems for the digital library one has to conduct interviews observations on user needs and accordingly the systems can be designed the second stage of evaluation is carried out during the development of the digital library this includes a logical workflow user friendly interface and necessary guidelines for the operation of the digital library since the development is being done by a technical professional it needs to be evaluated at the time of the development to make it fruitful deployment includes system execution its use and the maintenance the technical professional first releases the beta version of the developed system that is tested on the basis of requirements system deployment means that the software is ready for deployment how well does a digital library support the needs and demands of the user community this can be very hard to evaluate because of the different objectives of the user community it should support information needs tasks and activities of the individual users the user also expects various facilities such as fast navigation prompt retrieval browsing and interaction therefore the evaluation needs to be carried in users perspectives the system is one of the most complex aspects of the digital library one has to evaluate hardware software and network technology used in developing an infrastructure during evaluation of a system it is also expected to judge the procedures techniques algorithms and operations performed by the digital library to evaluate digital library applications the following two models are very popular and used most often digiqual is a model developed to measure the service quality of a digital library by the association of research libraries with funding from the national science foundation the digiqual project is the new version of the existing libqual plus protocol which was used to assess the services provided for the user communities of the national science digital library nsdl program in the us the e metrics is a tool for library professionals to evaluate the use of digital library resources and services which are to be measured for its worthiness the e metrics is a system of standardized tools and shared understandings about the value of the metrics for making data driven managerial decisions in libraries e metrics are applied to a number of library resources and service domains it also provides statistics of usage of networked electronic resources collected by external vendors conforming to standards such as counter which is counting online usage of networked electronic resources and sushi standardized usage statistics harvesting initiative also developed by external to the library organization peak peak is an evaluation model developed by researcher 
of the University of Michigan in collaboration with University of Michigan Library. It is developed to measure usage and value of the digital content that is electronic journals subscribed by the library. Peak model provides valuable inputs for taking administrative decision about the digital library. Now let us summarize what all we have covered in this module. Digital libraries are now at the mature stage and well developed in terms of technology but it is quite necessary to evaluate various strategies used at the time of its development. Service is one of the major part of the digital library in view of users and therefore it seems essential to evaluate digital library. Thus, it should become an imperative that affords in formal evaluation of digital libraries be enlarged and become an integral part of the research and practice.